Discussion board number three is entitled The Schools of Japan, written by Francis Ottowell Adams. Uh, Adams was a British diplomat who served as secretary of the British legation in Japan in the late 1860s and early 1870s. He was also the secretary of the American legation at Yedo in the first years after the opening of Japan. He was also the author of books and reports about some of the countries in which he had served as a diplomat, including the study of Japan, from which this excerpt is taken. This excerpt goes into detail about the schooling that was given to young boys in Japan. This type of instruction was not available to young women. This was a very regimented and harsh course of study that required a student's undivided attention and discipline. Many of these boys would become eligible to become a samurai, a position of great honor. It was also a position that would allow a young man to rise in class. <clears throat> so in comparison, coming to our present day, in the not-so-distant past, the state of California was known as a state with very high standards of education. Many parents throughout the country came to California so their children could attend school here. But in recent times, that is no longer the case. California is no longer a leader in the, countries, in the country regarding education. And there have been many reasons given for this, such as the passing of Proposition 13 in the 1970s that greatly reduced the funding schools received. Uh, other legislation has also been pointed to as a reason. Uh, many people also believe it is a result of a lessening in authority and discipline in public schools today. The, the curriculum has been accused of not being rigorous enough and the teachers have become passive and submissive with their students. And I can tell you from my own experience as a, as a substitute teacher a uh, number of years ago, you know, having been a person that had been out of high school for many years, and then I, now I'm back in it in the, uh, you know, early 2010s or so. Uh, I mean, I was shocked by the difference. Not, not that it was so rigid and, and crazy when, when, when I was a student, but, but compared to, you know, what it was today, I was, I was pretty shocked. Uh, so I want you to, to think about that. Now that you're out of high school, look back on your high school experience and, and you know, evaluate it. Do you, do you think that it was... It, it, it was a good education. Uh, you know, what's your opinion on this? Uh, do you feel there was a lack of discipline in your high school? Can you be specific? Do you think that you would have benefited from a stricter environment in high school? Do you feel like you were just pushed along through high school with no apparent concern for what you were learning? So compare your experience in school with the experience of these young Japanese boys. To become a samurai, a young man had to be loyal and follow any commands given to them. They had to be unquestioning when it came to their orders. <clears throat> Is America, in your opinion, starting to diminish because of a lack of formal education, coupled with the lack of discipline for much young people? Uh, these are only suggested questions. It's not required that you answer all these questions. They are there to help you if needed. Uh, please add anything, add anything else you would like. If you have a different argument, please feel free to share it. Please make a relevant post about what you've read and your reactions to it. <clears throat> your original reply should be at least four paragraphs. Make some points or other arguments. It is perfectly fine to disagree. And as always, very important, read this. Don't forget, discussion board assignments have two due dates. Um, so you have your first post on Friday, a week after the uh, assignment posts. Again, if we all waited until Monday to post, we wouldn't have any, anybody to respond to. Then you respond to two of your classmates' posts. Do not simply agree with what they have said. Give a response based on the knowledge you have gained from reading this excerpt and the educated reply. Your response should be at least two full paragraphs each and your two responses are due the following Monday. So again, I post on Fridays. The following Friday, your first post. The following Monday, your two responses. Again, to, to get the actual dates, go to Canvas, Assignments, and scroll down to the, <clears throat> the assignment you're looking at, and the, and the due dates will be shown there. Okay, uh, so grading 15 points for your original post, 5 points each for both of your responses for a total of 25 points. If you miss one post, go ahead and do the other. I'll give you credit for that. Uh, points are taken off for unoriginality, or not making a valid point or argument, or talking about something that wasn't part of the reading. Again, simply agreeing with what you read is not a relevant post. 
Don't forget two posts. First post Friday, two responses on Monday. Thank you.